The River State's Governor, Rotimia Mechi, has criticized the intervention of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, in the appointment of the Vice-Chancellor for the River State University of Technology. The Governor was guest in our midday bulletin. He also lamented the state of the nation's educational system. Our correspondent, Shion Okimbaloye, reports. Now the standard of education in Nigeria has completely, not declined, deteriorated. That so again brings to the fore the to cry of millions of Nigerians about the discouraging state of our education system. We must begin afresh to look at the quality of teachers that we have, train our teachers, ask them to do researches and development, don't promote anybody, don't even keep anybody one more year in university if you can't, if you can't read. Most well... Governor Amechi's frustration is not unconnected with the ASA strike over the appointment of a vice-chancellor which halted academic activities at the River State University of Technology. Let ASU at the federal level concern themselves with issues that have to do with federal universities. If we are practicing federal, federalism... The Academic Staff Union of Nigerian Universities across the country boycotted work in solidarity of what they refer to as arbitrary breach and abuse of procedure by the governor, the step and made she found out of place. The principle is clear. ASU has no business to direct me who to appoint as vice chancellor or not. It's not an employment issue. There is no case that is involved. They want to become politicians. Amechi is particularly not happy with some of the members of the selection committee who he said put up themselves for nomination for the VC seat. Now, these are members of ASU who are causing the problem. They, part they went, they participated in the selection of who will select the vice chancellor, nominated their own candidates to select them. And the vice chancellor was not allowed to nominate anybody because he was assumed at that beginning that he was a candidate. But they were not candidates. After the selection of the joint council committee, they came out and said, oh, we're not candidates. And then they selected themselves first, second, third, and fourth. And then they want the governor to ratify that. The letter from the chairman of the, jo of the joint selection committee disqualified them and allowed me to appoint two candidates, either Professor Inda or Professor... Uh, Fakai. One again will wonder why the VC seat of the university is suddenly now in odd pursuit. And because we've been putting funds in the management of the school now, the issue of who manages the fund, why are we not involved in the management of the fund, why can't we award contract or be awarded the contract? The spotlight is now on Professor Fakai, whom the governor says he will be appointing as an acting vice chancellor. Whether this will go down well with ASU or not, students who may bear the brunt in case of a strike can only pray for a quick fix in this matter. Sheung Akimbalue, reporting for Channels Television News.